What's going on, boys and girls? Or is that boys and girls, as in poison girls? Guess that depends on the relationship, don't it? Well, I'm a little late, but here's my bet now picks for the week. <clears throat> I saw Uncle Lou had done his. Uh, listen to me, not Uncle Lou. I'm better at this stuff. I'm older, I'm wiser, I'm uh, more toothless. I have prettier hair currently, and uh, I'm just basically cooler and that, as he would say. Anyway, this is a tough week. I had to, I, I struggled picking some teams this week, and currently I'm like 35, 40 bucks to the good on the year, so that's good. I uh, went three, four and two last week. Ohio State continues to. Uh, produce for me so right out of the gate I'm taking them over Nebraska they're a 17 point favorite I, I think they can beat Nebraska by more than 17 but it's out there in Huskerville so we'll see um, any other time I would be saying go big red as in the Huskers Husker do Husker don't hopefully Husker don't this time and here we go again with the problem reading my own writing oh oh Miss in Tuscaloosa to face the Alabama Crimson Tide the championship of uh, Alabama versus Mississippi schools. Uh, Bama is a 37 and a half point favorite. I think they're going to kind of relax a little bit this week and Ole Miss is going to raise their game up and they're going to only lose the game by 35. So take Ole Miss in the 35, 37 and a half. Another Alabama-Mississippi duel, if you will. The Barners traveling. I, or no, I, I think they're home, actually. I wrote it down wrong. Anyway, Auburn and Mississippi State's playing. A Tiger and a Bulldog. In a natural nature fight, Tiger wins that 10 times out of 10. Bulldogs are fucking ugly. Excuse my language, but they are. Uh, take Auburn, give the Bulldogs the nine and a half points. This is an interesting one. Virginia travels to South Bend and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Had a chance to go to this game. Won't go into the details for this purpose. This being a Bet Now promotional video. Uh, but anyway, Notre Dame I think they're ranked 18th or something like that or excuse me Virginia ranked 18th Notre Dame is still right there at the top 10 I do believe and uh, Notre Dame's gonna be worn out and feeling kind of sad they're gonna have the Georgia Blues you know from losing the heartbreaker down in Athens Virginia's gonna be pumped up riding high and they're gonna go into South Bend and not lose by more than 12 and a half I think the Irish win a close one, but take Virginia and the 12 and a half points and you should be safe if you only bet a million. Let's see who we got here. Syracuse and Holy Cross. Holy Cross is getting 38 and a half digits in this one. Now Syracuse got straight murked by Maryland earlier this year. Don't know how good they really are. But I don't think they're good enough to beat Holy Cross by 38 and a half, which they'd have to win by 39. So take the Holy Cross fighting crosses or whatever they are and the 38 and a half points for the win over Syracuse betting wise. So there you go. Reviewing real quick. Take Ole Miss and the 37 and a half against Alabama. Take Auburn and give Mississippi State the nine and a half. Take Virginia getting twelve and a half over Notre Dame. Take Holy Cross and thirty-eight and a half points against Syracuse. And the last one, the Buckeyes and the Huskers. The poisonous nuts and the Husker Dews. Buckeyes giving up seventeen on this one. Seventeen point favorites. Knock. If you think they can cover, and I do, because I've been perfect on the year with the Buckeyes. Is this the week they finally screw me? Well, if it's going to be any week, I hope it's this one. Nebraska's in a similar situation as Tennessee. In the doldrums, needing to 
make a big comeback, a big splash, and be relevant, they're not doing it against Fields and Ohio State. That team's averaging like 50-some points. They're giving up less than 10, which equates to about a 41-point win, which I think is about right. Take the Bucks, lick on a poisonous nut all weekend, and you should be good. There you go. That's it. Have a great weekend. Enjoy Tennessee's bye this week, and enjoy Greenville's bye this week, and bye.